Hey what's up everyone, this is Nash. After many requests from you guys, finally I'm going to review XOSP ROM and it stands for Xperia Open Source Project. I know that sounds weird. So this review will be for OnePlus One but you can relate this to OnePlus 3 or OnePlus 3T or Samsung, LG or Nexus devices. So the ROM is based on Android 7.1.1 and don't get worried, it's uh, pre-rooted. So UI has been completely Expedia-fied, icon, status bar, even the keyboard. First of all, you will find Expedia Launcher. As you can see here, I wouldn't say it's attractive in any ways. Maybe some of you Sony lovers might like it, but I did not like it personally. Anyways, the whole setting menu looks neat as black text instead of green and it really looks like some amazing Cyanogen mode theme engine which by the way, I miss the most. Despite of being a XOSP room, it has many customization all packed in one tab called XOSP settings. The usual status bar settings, you know you can change position of clock and battery. And one very annoying thing I find in all the rooms like there is an option to show the weather temperature in status bar but it never worked since Cyanogen mode 12 and I don't know why room developers can't see it and every room has this feature and it just doesn't work and traffic indicators providing incoming and ongoing network traffic on your status bar and that also in bytes per second quick setting customization where you can add or remove new tiles in the notification panel it saves quite a lot of time unfortunately there are not many options to add next we have blur customization where i can blur almost any background screen on my phone like blurring quick settings background or recent apps background but i don't use it personally Let's move from that and next we have button customization. Of course you can enable or disable on screen navigation which by the way is themed as Sony Xperia buttons. So in the button customization itself we have power menu customization where you can choose to have action when you long press power button like restart button or screenshot button. You can customize hardware buttons too and you can swap the buttons if you want. Or you can also customize the actions when you long press them or double tap them. Next we have miscellaneous tab where I was expecting something greater and something unique but boy I was disappointed. Just found double tap to wake the screen and prevent accidental wake up settings. Miscellaneous is the only tab where developer can put some unique things but unfortunately this room has nothing to offer. So that was XOSP settings tab. Now let's move on to another tab called equalizer. So equalizer is there only for the apps which have inbuilt equalizer like the Spotify app. So what is the point of having equalizer if you can't use it in stock apps? But don't worry guys, this room has one of the greatest feature ever. It's called Sony Battery Advisor and it will change your life forever. Just have a look. <laughs> Moving on, let's talk about inbuilt apps like Sony Album which is alternative to Gallery, Sony Walkman app which you know play music and inbuilt Sony Weather app. I don't know why it's needed but it is there. So that was all about some necessary and some unnecessary features. Now let's talk about performance of the ROM and it was surprisingly good. So the ROM is super smooth and the RAM management is excellent and no random reboots. And apart from the greatest feature battery advisor, I didn't have any force close. Hopefully it will be fixed in next update. Battery life was quite average. I got around four and a half hours of screen on time and standby time was good also. Like there is only 5% drop in the night from 100%. So the dose is working accurately. Roam doesn't have OTA support means you will have to dirty flash every time you want to update the room. 
The room is good, but the thing is, it's not different from any other room. It has nothing unique. I mean, there is no Google Assistant, there is no Omni Switch. And if you ask my opinion, I think stock Android is definitely beautiful than Expedia skin. So, but in case you want to try this room, I will give the link in the description below. So I would give three out of five to this room. So if you find this video helpful or entertaining in any ways, Please like this video. Let's aim for 100 likes. Like kar bhi do yaar. And yes, I know Hindi. And don't forget to subscribe my friends because awesome videos like this coming every day and you don't want to miss it. So if you have any question to ask me, just ask me on Facebook or Instagram. This is Nash and I will see you next time.